time, and I just want to show you a really neat way of uh, gardening. It's called raised, uh, raised bed gardening. It's really nice. We've been doing this a few years now. You can see the backyard. We love it. It's nice and green. You can see the grass and everything. Leaves starting on the trees quite yet, just barely coming. But the big thing is, I want to show you this, these beds here. These beds are about uh, three and a half, four feet wide, 12 feet long. They're phenomenal. Right now, I've got garlic growing in this one. 87 are, are up, and I'm excited about that. So this summer, um, those are going to come up. We'll, uh, we have one more row over here, beans in that, in that side here. And this green stuff here is a vetch. It's a, it's, a, it's a cover crop. We did this over the winter, did two beds. I did one uh, over there where we typically do our um, tomatoes and we do our cucumbers. Put that over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim this down, till it under, you know, just with a pitchfork, real simple. And uh, that's really neat. I like that. It's our, uh, we, we try to do that. It brings more nutrients into the ground uh, without basically using uh, um, fertilizer. So this is a natural fertilizer. Then over here we got the we have the um, clematis. I have a um, arbor. We do our acorn squash on this. Really, it's really, really simple. You need to get it off the ground because it, uh, it it trails and doesn't give you much room. So grow up. That's 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 funny, but that's really the key in in gardening and staying small and tight. We get a ton of produce out of these raised beds. The cages I use for my uh, uh, tomatoes here. So I'll just take these tomatoes and you can see the crown vetch is right here. I will eventually put my tomatoes all right in here. I'm gonna be trimming down the crown of the vetch here and then I'll till it under. And then this bed here that you see, have really nice soil in here, easy to take care of. Love this. And this is actually hemlock that I'm using. You can go and get uh, treated lumber, but in our area, there's a lot of lumber mills here and hemlock will uh, last a long time, won't rot on you and stuff like that, which is nice. But I have clematis that I do here. Uh, we get some huge, big purple flowers. It just looks neat. When everything isn't blooming, this will be blooming here shortly. It looks really awesome. Uh, this is my asparagus bed. Now I will go ahead and get some more uh, manure and I'll load this up with manure. I have about, say, say six, six more inches, I'll put manure in and that'll break down. Good nutrients. You always want to do the asparagus. I'll trim the vetch down. We'll, we will run uh, uh, baby tomatoes here, plum tomatoes, uh, sweet 100s, whatever, what, what have you, over on this trellis here, which is again 12 feet long, roughly six feet. Typically we'll do our cucumbers and let them grow and vine right up. That's what you want to do. Anything that's going to vine, you really want to let it go up in the air when you're doing small gardening. And you can see I got wood chips here. The wood chips are phenomenal because the pathways are big enough for a uh, wheelbarrow, which is what I wanted. I don't want to have to do a lot of work. I want to enjoy a garden. Get the wood chips and I don't have any weeds to deal with. The beds are, are not uh, so wide that I can't uh, get to the other side. I can easily, my kids can come out here easily. We can weed if there are really any weeds. There aren't because our beds are small and it grows so so thick. That's the key, is just making it simple and easy. That's, that's how I want to enjoy things. How much you can actually get out of the gardening when you garden like this it is phenomenal it makes you know your summers and your springs enjoyable you don't have to get a rototiller out and constantly weeding and and just frustrate it we almost do nothing to it we enjoy it and that's that's the whole point of gardening you want to be able to enjoy what you're doing you know reap the benefits that's what i that's what i want to do i want to play uh, soccer play with the kids and enjoy it. all right hope you like that and if you haven't tried it you got to do it it's raised bed gardening. Thanks.